With the combined points of the two 60-kilometre races determining the grid for the 500k enduro, it was all systems go at Phillip Island. Former champion Rick Kelly starting from the front row of the grid for the second sprint race ahead of Jamie Winkup and Craig Lowndes. Looked pretty even. Jamie Winkup almost got himself dug in a hole and Rick Kelly, I reckon, will have the advantage down to turn one and here comes James Courtney. James Courtney's championship lead under threat after Wing Cup's enduro partner Steve Owen clocked the fastest time in race one. But the Jim Beam Racing driver sounded an early warning to his rival. Courtney looked very strong as he grabbed second gear. He had kilometres an hour on the guys at the front row. But approaching the midway mark, Kelly reclaimed the lead from Courtney before building a handy margin. Rick Kelly has a 3.7 second lead here over Courtney. With only half the field having completed their compulsory pit stop in the first sprint race, the remaining teams headed to the garage, among them the two-time defending champ. So in Wind Cup, Dumbrell, McConda, Dale Wood, David Russell. Back on the track, Kelly's buffer extended to five seconds. His good work though coming undone when the safety car was called out. Really wet in Victoria in the recent past. With one lap remaining, Kelly held on to his lead with Triple Eight's Craig Lowndes hot on his tail. He'll want to hold on to this lead for the next couple of laps of the sprint. And though Kelly crossed the finish line first... The Jack Daniels racer car number 15, a great job from yeah, Rick yeah, Kelly. Well done. The combined points from both sprint races would mean Team Vodafone's Wing Cup and Owen would claim pole position for Sunday's 500k enduro race. <laughs> Daniela Intilli, Big Pond Sport.